I'm the man in two tan jackets. Moments later. I don't think I want to be the man in the tan jacket anymore. Generic control in the deck goes Moo here. Back with another episode of Welcome to Night Vale. Today we're doing the 14th one, which is called the Man in the Tan Jacket, which I'm not really sure what man this is going to be. I'm not sure if he's from episode 13 or not. I would highly doubt that he is, but even check out my reaction to episode 13, which was one of my favorites so far. It was a story about you. I'll leave my reaction to that right up there. I'll also link down below the description. Also in a playlist on my channel with all of my other Welcome to Night Vale reactions going in chronological order. Thank you for all the continued support on these videos. I do read all your comments and your heartwarming comments really inspired me to keep this series going and all the people that wait until the moment i go live every single tuesday with these videos that are always waiting in the comment i do see you i do appreciate you and all the people sharing the the playlist and the videos on twitter and tumblr and uh what reddit and all that thank you so so much for that and also shout out to the patrons because if it wasn't for them i wouldn't be able to con continue to do series like this and upload as many videos as i do because it's been a very very rough january i talked about that on twitter as well you should definitely follow me on twitter or x or whatever it's called now but thank you so much for being here i really hope you've been enjoying the videos hopefully i can make your days just a tiny little bit better like i said i'm completely against paywalls and that's why i have a patreon uh i'm here to make you smile and not make you pay and i do read all your comments so leave some down below but let's go ahead and jump into the man in the tan jacket all right before we take you live to the lonely little burg of night vale we have burg. an important announcement what is this welcome to night vale t-shirts are now available Go about your daily life bearing our name Dude, upon your body what does that look Share like secret signs and messages what is the website in the know Welcome to Night Vale t-shirts. Get them today at commonplacebooks.com. Common. All right, that's it for me. Place Take it, Cecil. Book. Look. Take it, Cecil. Nice. Obelisk. That's a good. We don't know where it came from, but it's attracting Commonplace a lot books. of cats. Cats. Welcome. Where's my cat? To Night Vale. I don't know where he's at. Commonplace books. Is that just like is that a storefront? Oh, I guess it's a storefront. Shop. Do they have online store what do they got what do they got I, i'm actually very curious also the weather i think it's always the later one it's going to be where it starts in my video the lower number is going to be where it starts in the episode which is linked down below in the description why does this just say gift happy new year night vale last night's fireworks extravaganza at the night vale harbor and waterfront recreation area there's no water beautiful this is despite it, the fact the... that the Night Vale Harbor and Waterfront Recreation Area never really existed. Are you kidding and me? And was in I can't no find way him. a multi-million dollar failure of municipal planning. Eh, there's been more expensive failures. And just because the only things remaining on the premises Name a couple. are several large piles of rubble and a red sign reading, Nothing is here. Nothing was ever here. Sounds suspicious. Does not mean that they failed to correctly use tax dollars to build a harbor, a waterfront, <sighs> or a recreation area. Recreation anyway, area is pretty nice. The waterfront and harbor is over why. The city made the desert. sign were lovely. Happy 2013. Ladies and gentlemen. I guess this is nine years surely old. Surely yeah. you have noticed there's a man in a tan jacket. Countless I have a tan jacket. I call my pimp him, coat. But no one can seem to remember exactly what he looks like. Just that he has a tan jacket and a deer skin suitcase. Ah. Uh. And he has been spotted all over town. But no one can quite recall specifically where they saw him or what time of day it was. Just that they saw him. Frances Donaldson, huh. the tall woman with the green eyes who manages the antique mall, thinks maybe the man I should in really the like tan jacket the is chain. simply a shared dream. I guess it's a coat or jacket. I know I, have two I jackets, saw actually. him in Night Vale. I know what I saw. This man couldn't possibly be a dream. I'll be right back. He was so, so vivid. And we're back. His eyes were... Yes, I'm wearing two well, jackets. His nose Don't worry about his it. chin... Oh, I can just see. I just can't remember. The man was clear as day. Jackie just he walked had by. a tan <laughs> jacket and a deer skin suitcase. He can't be a dream, can he? Please call in. I don't have a suitcase. And let us know if you can remember anything else. Nope, can't. This is literally this like Monday through Friday this material. is the annual I mean, this is... Night Vale Career Fair 
at the downtown <sighs> convention center. What is that going to be? There will be dozens of booths representing phony local businesses that will take your resumes and photos mm. via hidden surveillance cameras and conduct sample interviews designed to badger you into implicating yourself in oh, nefarious boy. activities. Nefarious. First generation Night Vale residents, first generation those whose parents were originally born elsewhere in Maine, and they were Massachusetts, oddly specific, Canada, Micronesia, Cold places. and Suriname are strongly <laughs> encouraged to attend. This year's keynote speaker is an audio tape of droning moans leaden with subliminal tips about achieving personal prosperity okay. and how to come clean about the terrible things you have done. Uh, you no, I have I I okay. Last year's fair featured several very high profile arrests and exciting door Wait. prizes. Oh? Tickets are $25. That's or pretty pricey. 15 if you still have working retinas to scan. Over the weekend, Teddy that. Williams, owner of the Desert Flower Bowling Alley and Arcade Fun Complex, sent us some security camera footage of what, of what he believes to be the first ever glimpse of citizens of the underground city deep Why below security lane footage? five. Do they like come out of the early Saturday morning? Huh? Fun complex cameras picked up blurry motion near the soda machine. Mm. The footage the soda is machine? quite fuzzy and difficult to discern. Perhaps it is merely rats or raccoons digging through an uncovered supply of junk food. What a pet raccoon. But it is, of course, much more likely that a lost nation of people living in the bowels of a small town bowling alley are finally revealing themselves. Yeah, no, like, why would they? Taking our food supplies and preparing for war. Teddy told us that he believes this city to be thousands strong thousands. and ready to move into Nightvale. What's Night the population Bale, of Nightvale? Ready to take arms against the upper world, as they probably call Mole people? It's not like mole ready. people. To conquer this heaven and become the righteous owners of our sun-soaked, precious land. I we also assume. just finished Undertale today, so it takes very little extrapolation. Well, so I'm putting out like six videos on Tuesday a today. Named Huntokar, which is who demands insanity. sacrifice to keep their underground city thriving in the absence of nourishing sunlight. And a yeah, fair me and sunlight are not friends. That they are ruled by a child king recently coronated who is too weak to rein back the generals okay. intent on marching upon us in war don't don't they all come out of one little spot Ladies in the bowling alley though if you care for your community your town your night veil like i do oh. you will arm yourselves already you done will rally your neighbors to militia Already you will point done. fingers at those who do not wish to fight and have them rounded up into pens. Into this is no time for the weak. We are at a presumptive war with a projected with enemy whom we cannot yet see or even be certain of, but who are probably bloodthirsty giants. They're giants? They're not if mole people? If you would like to learn more about okay. starting a militia... Simply learn to be a true American. <laughs> the true That's American. Arm yourself. Know. That's funny. And remember, Night Vale is at war. Your when aren't they? Your talk cost lives. They know we are here, and it seems somebody talked. Who? Who was it? Do they speak Night English? Vale. Was it Steve Carlsberg? Of course Did it was him. Steve it probably is. Talk Maybe a group of good citizens should go have a chat. A good citizen. What find out definition what of a good citizen? And to whom? Stay by your radios, listeners. We will report further. After the weather? events warrant. No, not after the weather. What sponsors? I don't think we had sponsors last week. More now on the man in the tan jacket. I'm the man in two tan jackets. Old woman Josie called... To tell us that her angel friends are saying that the deer skin suitcase is full of flies. 
the angels would not tell her more, explaining that knowing more would jeopardize her eternal soul, as well as their own statuses as angels. Oh. They did not want to mess with that. Yeah, no, you don't you don't want to get the motive. Josie added that she thinks the man in the tan jacket is just a salesman of some sort. Okay. A fly salesman, she bets. Wandering what? from town to town with Doing polished what? shoes and a suitcase full of flies. Uh, okay. Oh, I just he can't can stay away stand from me. those fly salesmen, she said ringing my doorbell at 3 a.m. wanting to show me samples flies? and asking for glasses of orange milk. Why is your milk orange? The Night Vale Daily Journal has announced that, despite cost-cutting measures and mandatory subscription laws, it is facing a huge budget shortfall this year. It must be January. We cannot pay back our printers or our delivery crews. That's not good said editor Leanne Hart. They're underwater, basically. In a prepared basically. statement, whispered through my mail slot late last what night. What through the mail slot? And we have already had to banish much of our staff into the sand wastes of the desert. What does that mean? She went on to explain that this do they, budget do, can shortfall you not just be unemployed has nothing in to do with the reported to the desert? lavish birthday party she threw for herself in Night Vale Stadium. The massive stadium? a lazy river made entirely of champagne and a birthday cake topped with very thin slices of moon rock. Wow. I'm in not an addendum, too interested in that, but... In Morse code on my bathroom window. You know Morse code? She said that the journal is considering all new sources of income, including creating additional advertising space and mugging... Nightvale citizens, and that I shouldn't mention the whole birthday party thing after yeah, all. Yeah, you shouldn't. I wouldn't because she was never even born. So how could she have had a birthday, a birthday party? That's so extravagant. She spent then the who, rest of the what night did he see? tapping out the phrase, "Birthdays are a fake idea," which actually was a pretty relaxing sound to Wait, fall asleep to. Um... Hey, so many people listen to parents, this show to fall asleep. Time once again for our children's fun fact science what is, corner. Oh. Today, we are exploring, We're exploring common what? words and their meanings. Say common birds or common an words? eagle indicates birds. that an important phone call is impending. I won't pick up. A sparrow says that you should beware the sea and sell any stocks invested in food-based companies. I don't think I do that anyway. A Can't pigeon swim. means that your mother has I died. Can, no. Or that all is well. It's a bit uncertain. A I'm wearing two jackets tells and us listen to that the physical constants of the universe are slowly degrading and may someday shift, invalidating the laws of physics and instantly wiping out the universe as we know it while simultaneously creating an entirely new universe in a single transcendent moment of genocide and genesis. That's a normal Tuesday, dude. As for hawks, well, no one knows what hawks mean. Uh, my heracadamia? If they are real. Well, I mean... Have you ever even seen a hawk? Of course not. I haven't seen any no birds around has. my house since I moved here. I was just this talking about that. Sitting outside, I'm like, I've never seen a bird around here. Corner. A little weird, don't you think? A little weird. A little weird. I don't see and birds now, anywhere. a word from our sponsors. Yeah, sponsors. Is it a real sponsor? Today's or is it... program has been sponsored by the physical act of gulping. For thousands of years, gulping has been there for human beings when they needed an expressive gesture of the throat. Whether you want to indicate that nervousness no. about an upcoming test or appointment, fear of the faceless old woman who lives secretly in your home, or just want to ingest Rent milk free? faster than with regular swallowing, milk. gulping is the way to go. Forget sweating, never mind shivering, sneezing, ugh. I'm about to start sweating all these jackets actions, on. Physical actions, think gulping. Gulp now Bear. and receive a complimentary prize package. 
Where? Which will be conveniently buried in an unmarked spot somewhere in the scrublands. <laughs> I'm Find actually, it, is it worth and it? And it's yours. I mean, I love scavenger hunts, but is it worth it? This just in. The Sheriff's Secret Police has just issued an important request to related who? to our earlier story. Well, they ask that all Night Vale citizens be on the lookout for a man in a tan jacket carrying a deer skin suitcase. Not me. Can't be me. He is about five or six foot something. I'm six probably foot one, with but... hair and normal human features. He was last seen early this morning on the unlit, gravel-paved stretch of Oak Trail, near Larry Leroy's house I took like five out on the edge today. of town. The man in the tan jacket was reportedly seen in the moonless black, standing next to a refrigerator engulfed in flames. I do need a new refrigerator. He was smoking a cigarette. No, nah, don't smoke. Witnesses claimed... He stared at them as they slowly drove by on the darkened country road. But despite the prolonged eye contact, the witnesses still could not describe his face to police. Two days prior, the man in the tan jacket was seen standing in a park. No one can remember which park, but they're fairly certain it was a park. I don't think I want to be the man in or tan jacket anymore. maybe it was in the Old Navy outlet store or near the invisible clock tower. It was What is the purpose of an invisible here. clock tower? Either way, the man was definitely standing with his deer skin suitcase and staring Can't up be at me. the sun Can't for be me. hours. He followed the bizarre glowing orb which is somehow the source of all light and life and oh god the sun are you kidding us with this thing we don't even have time for that mystery uh, the sun's the a mystery secret police then interjected secret police officials added that if you see a man in a tan jacket carrying a deer skin me. suitcase not me do you see a suitcase down what you see there's not a suitcase in my house immediately the city council has temporarily lifted their ban on pens and pencils. Cecil struggle with that one. So that citizens can help. First time I've ever heard him struggle on this matter. Once you write down your encounter, call 911 immediately, Fair. or simply say "Hey, police!" out loud. <laughs> We're all being monitored almost 24/7, what do you mean, almost? so they'll probably hear you just. Fine. Let's go now to the weather. To traffic. Oh, okay. Not the weather. There is a car. What? It's not in Night Vale, or even in the desert that cradles our little town. It's out somewhere beyond that. There are many cars there, but I'm speaking only about one. Blue, squarish, square -ish. tires and windows, and an engine that works most of the time. Oh, uh -huh. okay. A that woman can be is a driving it, things. and she is also glancing whenever she can at the uh, child in the passenger seat. He is a how child. How old is a child? Why is he in the passenger is 15. seat? Oh, okay. You understand. She is glancing at him, what? but she is not saying anything, and he is not saying anything either. She wants to cry. How do you know or that? She wants to push him out of the car. Eject of Cedo Cus? Or she wants to go back in time and insist on using a condom. <laughs> Only she would never do that. Oh, really? She wouldn't change any of this, really. For? Not for all the money. Piles of money. Some of it what? defunct I... money from defunct and absent governments. She wouldn't give any of this back. So she drives her car, blue, squarish. Uh, what is a squarish car? I know like a cube and, and Kia an Soul, but that like works most of the time. And she glances at the fifteen-year-old child, and neither of them speaks. This has been traffic. That's so odd. And now the weather. The weather. There it is. All right, it's gonna be muted. Try to guess what it is. Is that a saxophone? I like the saxophone. 
Okay. Definitely feels like a cop show, like a transition. Like when they're setting a scene for like a new location, like in CIX or something like that, where they're like, got to travel to a different city or country or something. And they got to like, show like a bunch of like fast cuts between like the people around the culture or whatever. This definitely sounds like that. You might know the song. No words have been said. I hear what sounds like a drum. Maybe bongos? Is that, that's not a violin, is it? Is there? That is, there has to be a saxophone, right? Is that a trumpet? Uh, is there no words? Is it literally just an instrumental? Okay. There's still no words being said. It's literally just instruments. Definitely sounds like it's building up to something, like a secret agent movie. Ladies and gentlemen, during the break... That was the weather? I received a call from someone claiming to be an angel. Oh? Now, I don't know if this was a prank or not, as no one has ever actually proven that they've talked to an angel. Well, how are you going to prove Even that you did Even old woman Josie's word is just that. Her word. But listeners, I think this had to have been an angel because, because my why? face became hot and the voice filled every part of my body. That's a little weird. And tears were flowing you down just my it's an face angel? the instant I touched the phone receiver. Oh. And the why were they contacting you? was lit up in, well, how can I describe this? A bright black beam illuminating every atomic detail and the angel if that is indeed who called the angel said that the man in the tan jacket with the deer skin suit case not me was from a place underneath the earth wait the bowling alley underneath our knowledge what a vast world right below the giant mole people that speak English? I asked for more. That built an army? But the angel, if that is indeed who called, whispered only a flower in the desert. Flowey? Flowey the and flower? It filled me with ecstasy and dread. Casual. Then the call ended and the black ray of truth was gone. And I was breathless and alone and dear listeners i the silence oh just, well, oh i thought we we're gonna listen to silence it was unlike any silence you have ever not heard Was a double negative you allowed to do that so our mystery man remains unfound and I'm still not sure <sighs> why an angel would have to use a telephone. Exactly but why. Maybe it was now, a tan man in tan jacket. We can only know what we know. And that is that we don't know. Okay, we're doing a whole Thank lot of confusion. Thank you again for listening, listeners. I, I look forward to another fine year. Fine, a new year. fine year. When well this spent with all of you out there. Stay tuned next for, for two commercial free hours of, of E Sharp. Why? Good night. What's the proverb? Night vale. Be alert and write down everything you cannot comprehend. That's a lot of things. Until I'd be writing a next lot. Time. I can't wait to get these jackets off. It's quite hot. Like this Welcome one is, is a production of common thick. Books. Like the arms Joseph are Fink and Jeffrey Kramer, this material. And by Joseph Fink. It's also the, the suede you can't wash at all. Holman. Original music by Disparition. 
All of it can be downloaded for free at Disparation. What's the proverb? Info. Tell me the proverb. This episode's weather was Invocation of the Duke by Dakka Hip Hop Orchestra. Sounds about right. More at MySpace.com. MySpace. Want to have your music featured in the weather section? I don't have want music. To contribute your talents to the show. I don't have any. Just want to say hi. Hi. Email us at nightvale at commonplacebooks.com. Or follow us on Twitter at Night Vale Radio. Ah, yeah, Twitter. Check out commonplacebooks.com for more He's information. He's still holding a knife. All of that. Is that the new episode? On the unused story ideas of H.P. Lovecraft and what it means to be a grown up. Nah, don't Today's do it. proverb. Biologically speaking, we are all people made up of smaller people. I don't like that you're right in a way. Um, this is Welcome to Night Vale, episode 14 The Man in the Tan Jacket. I really hope you're enjoying these videos. I love reading your comments, especially your heartwarming ones. People can tell, telling me to keep watching these videos. People that wait for the moment to go live. I do see you. Also, the people that are watching this for the very first time with me that have come to my channel from other videos. Thank you so much. And all the people that came from, you know, people, various people sharing on Tumblr and Twitter and uh, Reddit and all of that. Thank you so much for those people. And thank you so much for giving me a shot. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I look forward to the next one. But until then, take care and keep the music. Play.